All right, welcome again to our Carnegie Club of Success. We have got one of, a very good friend of mine, Pooja Desai. She is a part of my BNI chapter who has just entered the Carnegie Club of Success with her success story. Welcome, Pooja, and congratulations. Why don't you introduce yourself to our an audience, please? Thank you so much, Sid. Um, I've been in this business for the past six, seven years now. And um, Sid, thank you for being in my life. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pooja, for trusting me. Uh, so, uh, Pooja, kindly share about uh, uh, about your success story. In which area was it, and was it an area which you were considering, or suddenly something happened, an epiphany happened, and you found out oh, this is something which is there for you in your life? Can you just share uh, something about that? Yeah, sure. So, um, definitely, after joining your program, the first thing you made us do was uh, write down few goal cards based on your financial goals, your personal growth, uh, personal goal, etc, etc. So, um, I, I, I have been, I've been a very, um, you know, skinny person all my life. But in the last three years or so, I had put on more than uh, 12, 13 kgs uh, post-pregnancy. Uh, and uh, it never occurred to me, like, you know, I should get back to shape or there was, there was ne there's never a time, there's never enough time to do that. So when I actually wrote my personal goal card, you know, I was thinking, you know, what's the best thing I want for my personal uh, thing? And uh, I, I checked my weight and I put it on the goal card and I said, oh my God, I'm 70 kgs, never crossed my, um, crossed 60 in my entire life and I have to get back to shape. It was definitely an epiphany. I had... Uh, no idea and uh, I was mindless you know about my weight and there was a sluggishness in life total mindless yeah. so when I put so, it down so it, I'm not a I'm not a fitness coach or I'm not a health coach <laughs> I'm not a nutritionist I'm not a dietitian I didn't give you any crash course so no, no, I know that <laughs> yeah. Definitely. you know but but to make me realize uh, you know um, I never never thought you know there's something which I need to focus on it was never on my mind you know, always we think about growing the business buying the house doing this but personal growth which at this particular junction the way the world is i think it is very important uh, to be healthy and i have achieved it absolutely wonderful congratulations for that so uh, uh, i think uh, you had a goal card i remember you shared your goal cards with me and you had a date which was there in the month of december something on your uh, Yes, I had actually put in my goal card that I would reduce around 9 kgs and I have my birthday on uh, December 2nd and uh, I wished uh, that, you know, I could uh, wear my favorite dresses back uh, on my birthday and uh, that, that was my goal card, yes. Yeah, and you have a goal card with you right now? I do have my goal card with me. You have it? Yes, I do have. Yeah, and uh, so when did you achieve your goal? Uh, to be honest, uh, you know, uh, the way I did my health um, um, and worked on the personal goal uh, was different. You know, everybody keeps seeing their weight every day. You know, I am dieting, I am exercising, so how much I am To be honest, um, I was just working towards it, but I never checked it. Uh, for like months together, I never checked it. So a few days back, I went to my cousin's place and I told, do you have a weighing machine, you know? So she said, yes. Uh, in fact, I, my weighing machine got repaired and I never bothered to like, you know, <laughs> let me buy a new one or whatever. So I checked and I was taken by surprise because I had in my mind uh, that, you know, maybe I've lost around six, seven kgs. Uh, and my goal was around nine kgs uh, to reduce nine kgs by the month of December. And uh, when I checked, I checked it two, twice or thrice to, you know, uh, make sure what I'm seeing is right. When I saw it, it was, uh, I mean, I was down by almost 11 and a half kgs. I was so amazed. <laughs> and after my family, the first person to inform uh, whom I informed was you. Yeah, and I, was, I was still not got in touch with my um, um, um coach nutritionist coach or uh, who has guided me towards this yes. i'm still not informed of him <laughs> i'm sure he's going he will have a separate uh, story to share with this but the journey has been amazing yes but in fact you know it's a combination of your belief system and a combination of your efforts so we always believe that we become what we think about 
So that's congratulations for your personal uh, uh, goal achieved. Tell us something about uh, what has that impacted on your belief systems in terms of your fears and your faith for your professional goals now. So um, yes, definitely my next next uh, target is uh, you know to achieve my um, financial and professional goal. Um, I have put it down. I've definitely put it down, and I keep looking at it that you know if I've achieved this personal goal, I should be able to achieve this also, and I'm working towards it. Uh, definitely, um, you know, see, we were, I was very mindless before. So we utho, aaj ka ro, jo kaam hai, usko khatam karo. Then we go back again, and you know, do doing the daily routine and doing, you know, I mean, some months were good, some months were bad, and um, there was. um no no focus no um no exposure as to what has to be done differently to go to a next level so i'm part of this uh, book reading club which has come out of this um um the uh, think and grow rich um, uh, academy from of yours and um, in the mornings we used to read um um think and grow rich book we used to read uh, one chapter uh, like for 25 30 days and like, hold up, be... puja this this doesn't make sense you know for the normal people reading the same chapter again and again again and again again and again for 25 days i mean are you watching every time you read the any chapter there will be something new which will go inside your mind Uh, uh, I mean, um, and the, and not only about the reading. Uh, these days, uh, these people have started. I, I'm 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 unlucky that I'm unable to do it on a regular basis. Uh, but there have been a lot of discussions. Their belief systems have changed. Their uh, the way they think is different. So I am able to cap uh, capitalize on the thinking of those people who have. and who know how to do it you know uh, so i i had never thought you know acha aise bhi soch sakte you know they, i never had that um, you know, i mean uh, i don't know to put that word exactly but it has changed the way i look at things entirely let it be professional relationships or even for that matter um, um, your personal everything everything my my belief entire belief system has changed i look at things very differently now absolutely and i'm so happy that now you have so uh, much over uh, when with your work pressure after corona things being yeah. slowly, slowly opening up that uh, it's been the work and i'm sure you're going to achieve your financial goal also Uh, yeah, I, I, I wish to. I wish to. Yeah, I wish to. I always remember this one thing you had done. You should always have a shoe box full of, you know, goal cards. Uh, you know, so I. I mean, I've just achieved one goal, but I know it's a huge thing for me. So I've already have a shoe box, and I'm yeah. more than that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you, I've got my goal cards with me. I'm going to put that on in my shoe box for sure. Yes, yes, yes. That's, 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 that's like. into me now it's into me so i also want a big shoe box to have the book of you of course you will have it for sure puja and a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step and you have already taken the first step the belief yeah. system is the most important so tell us something puja about uh, our academy is that something you just have some online programs on your own you watch it on your own or we have a, some 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 kind of a support system a weekly support system which is really helpful for lifetime something different than all the other programs maybe which are there Uh, honestly i have not attended any other programs apart from yours uh, okay. but but you know initially when i had joined and when i had um, uh, understood what i'm going into so i thought uh, it would be some mails which would come to me and then i have to follow them and um, i know that if i have to get this done i have to take efforts from my own end Yeah. but uh, as things progressed i was amazed by the friday uh, mastermind calls which you do i still remember the um, call which you had done on time management that was i remember you had messaged me after the call messages you know i want that on time management in trust me i have uh, got that ppt in my phone and i always used to work on that ye uh, ye Q one, Q two, Q three, Q four. Forget it. Let's not do this. Yeah. You know, so that we have started implementing in our uh, professional life as well. 
and uh, even in my uh, personal life you know unnecessary uh, no wastage of time i'm i'm more focused now and more i'm aware of things more most importantly i'm aware awesome. i don't know how much i am following maybe not to the 100 percent but at least the awareness is there that yes this is what i'm doing right now is waste of time so things like that uh, and i'm sure there have been multiple uh, topics which are covered week on week and i have been lucky enough to attend those calls most of the time and um, amazed by it and there have been multiple support system not only uh, from you from the members they they are an amazing community i am unlucky to <laughs> capitalize on it fully yeah. but i'm trying my level best absolutely i think you are also one of the key members of our community been actively taking part in the in the, in the reading groups also so and of course it's a journey it's a lifelong relationship you're going to get access for a lifetime so uh, somebody uh, maybe if is sitting on the fence puja thinking that okay one more online program one more video uh, why should i join think and grow rich academy what would you advise uh, i would say uh, see um it's beyond uh, expectations for the money you pay it's it's beyond it's it's worth it more much much more than the small amount you pay that is one thing for sure secondly uh, there are a lot of other online um, advertisements which keep bombard me also but uh, honestly um uh once doing after doing this program i feel you wouldn't need any other program thank you uh, you wouldn't need any other one uh, this is the one program i have done and i am not thinking of doing anything <laughs> else and i think if I, if i just follow this properly throughout yeah. my life i think i'll achieve it awesome thank you so much for your kind words uh, some final tips puja i can see that you are now hit and fit you are energetic with your with your personal goal being achieved you are on track of your professional goal final tips before we wrap up this beautiful interview of your success story to the audience or any anyway, some final okay. tips from your end uh, the biggest take away for me in uh, through think and grow reach have been to be persistent so you know that's that's a chapter which is just gone into me and i think by being persistent you can achieve anything and to un- understand the meaning of persistent you will not get just by looking into the dictionary you have to be part of this academy to one. understand it that's that's one thing which has stayed with me and i think everybody has something exactly. uh, one or the other thing but this one is with me i think brilliant brilliant puja you have nailed it this is one quality which actually distinguishes from successful people and talented people there is lot of talent in the world india has got talent but people who have got persistence they reach the top and i think you have got that quality nailed it so i wish you grand success in the future just Thank like you have achieved your personal goal you are going to go for your professional your adventure your contribution goal and we are there for you a week after okay. week after week we are there for you for sure uh, this is pooja desai uh, a very good friend of mine from my bnf family my bnf fraternity who is part of the academy a very active member uh, who has achieved her personal goals without even knowing that she achieved, she achieved her personal yeah. goals yeah. and uh, on track for our professional goals if you would like to have this kind of a success story and enter our carnegie club of success get your goals just click on the link below over here enter the academy and we'll make sure that you will achieve your goals with certainty my name is siddarth shah i am the ceo of think and rich academy we once again congratulate pooja desai for entering our carnegie club of success thank you so much pooja for your time and i wish you all the best again thank you everyone bye bye bye